Uh, my patience, uh, vision, and um, just reading my blocks and just knowing what the offensive line is doing, just knowing what the defense is doing. And I think I improved with that. Coach Richardson did a good job on that. Yeah. What was your reaction when you came into preseason camp this year and you, you probably expected you'd be one of the top guys and you were with the second team? What was your reaction? Oh, there was no reaction. I just had to work hard and just get back to where I was last year. And um, it's all about, you're never good, so it's all about just working hard and improving on to what you did last year. Yeah. And so what do you think you showed, you've shown since then that has gotten you to where you are? Uh, patience, just mm -hmm. working hard, finishing. Um, just knowing that coach, just knowing what coach also wants out of you. So I, I think that's the three things that made the decision for me to play. Uh, yeah. yeah. Does the Boise State experience and a little of the noise today make you feel a little better about what you on Saturday? You know, yeah. It's really loud. Well, I don't think it was that loud. <laughs> yeah, that was really loud. But uh, we definitely know what to expect. Uh, that's a nice, I'm pretty sure it gets loud in there. And um, it's going to be great playing that the carrier dome and uh, a lot of history out there so that's another thing cool about it but like again you just gotta go out there perform at what we can do and just win that's oh, awesome. tell you stories about him he, he mentions it sometimes <laughs> i mean he does have highlights on youtube so he, may, he, he says go watch those highlights but we, i mean they're too long so we don't want to watch it but yeah he mentions how like great he did there and how he wants that how he wants the running back group to do what he did too and even be better than him so yes yeah, he brings up stories like that does it feel good to have the offense be you know have a very successful game i mean you know the abilities you guys have but to be able to go out there and score as much as you did to kind of show what you're capable of yeah we're definitely capable of scoring as much points as we can um you know the offensive line they're doing as good as they can and we're all just coming together and we're all, like as you can see at practice while I'm trying to communicate better we're all trying to go full speed and we're all just kind of trying to come together and when things aren't going right we just got to relax and just go through the motion just go through the play you know what you got to do and just perform so that's what we're all doing how much does it help to have someone a uh, quarterback like david who's at, as mobile as he is it kind of opens up opportunities for you as well yeah it definitely opens up opportunities for me the wide receivers and just for everybody i mean so now that they got to worry about david but they also got to worry about the other people too so they don't know what to do so it's harder for the defense to just focus on one player so like David brings like a lot of impact on the offense so that's a huge huge plus on that how do you think the team uh, adjusted with the crowd noise today in practice <laughs> I think well we did that last year so I think they were used to it I'm pretty sure the freshmen were like what the heck is this <laughs> but uh, the rest of the people were used to it but we all adjusted pretty fine I mean it wasn't no it wasn't no mistake on the field as much as the noise so you said how you've improved how do you have to improve now like what is there left to work on uh, just working hard. I mean, just seeing what other running backs do and what you can do to go to the next level. And, um, you know, like I watch like Ezekiel Alley, like I was just watching this game, uh, Saquon. I mean, just to see what they do differently to improve your game. So, I mean, that's what I just look for too. And also, I try to be as best as I can in, like, like I said before, patience, vision, uh, speed, and all of those. So, that's what I just try to do. So, when you're watching those NFL guys, like, are you looking for different things than like just a casual fan would be? Oh no! Oh no! I try to see like how they make their cuts. What's their one-two before a jab? And, um, how do they catch the ball? How do they like burst out of a hole? How do they read their holes? And all of just like stuff. Yeah. yeah. Being on the road once, obviously before dealing with noise, you think that's going to help you going to Syracuse as far as just, just dealing with the situation. Oh, could you say that again? Uh, you think it, you've gone to uh, Boise and had to deal with noise. Right. Going to Syracuse now, you think you'll be able to deal with the situation a little bit better than you've kind of gone through it as a team? Definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're definitely going to, uh, that situation with the noise and everything, we're definitely going to handle it right this time. And we're just going to be more focused on the call, more focused on the snap count and everything. Just, just more focused. I think it was just a focus thing. So we're going to be much better than Boise.